Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Y'all, today I have a life at camp video for you. I'm going to share a couple of tasty meals that I made and of course a time-lapse clip since those have been popular. I also want to start this video by telling you that I just had to make a non-emergency police report because we are at Robbins Butte Wildlife Area and there is pu public shooting allowed um, in certain parts of this land, but not where we are, right? There's a ton of campers. You're not allowed to target shoot over here. And there's literally three men that we can see. We know their rigs and everything. I mean, they're camped right over by us and right over by a ton of other people. Um, literally with like revolt. I mean, they're so close. I could literally see their guns. Like they have revolvers and they're shooting and the bullets are literally whizzing by our camp. Like we can hear the shoo, shoo, like, ah, so I went on top of the hill despite the risk of getting shot and I was screaming at them. Oh, hold on. There's the cops. Cops are over there. They knew exactly who it was because I gave them descriptions of vehicles and they're wearing cowboy hats acting like they're in Tombstone 1884. Mm-hmm. Good. It's important to note in this very specific scenario that I do carry a firearm. I absolutely practice my Second Amendment rights. But part of carrying a firearm is understanding the extreme responsibility that you have by choosing to carry a deadly weapon. Um, there is so much safety and etiquette. I have been trained on not only how to use a firearm, but also the safety, etiquette, and responsibility that comes along with that. Shooting a weapon into the open air around other campers and people wh where there is motor motorized vehicle traffic, hikers, children, dogs, um, is literally the most irresponsible thing you can do. Um, people can easily get killed by a stray bullet. And as a firearm carrier, it is also my responsibility to notify law enforcement when people are acting extremely inappropriately with weapons where the public is at risk. So although some people may not agree with my decision, um, or, you know, maybe some people think I'm a Karen for calling non-emergency, it is my duty as, again, as a weapon carrier to be responsible enough to know when other people are not using their firearms appropriately and putting people at risk. So um, it was important to me to notify authorities because what if somebody does get hurt, gets hurt or, or killed? Um, hopefully the cops showing up stopped them. And in Maricopa County, if you are not shooting at an appropriate place where it is allowed, it is a $250 citation. So they take it very seriously, and the fact that I could hear bullets whizzing by my camp uh, for three days is absolutely absurd. And there is no reason for people to be in their vests and cowboy hats with revolvers in the desert shooting at nothing when people could get caught up in the crossfire. It's just absolutely absurd to me. Furthermore, I believe that the people who are camping there have... Well, I know for a fact they've been there well over their 14-day limit because we have been coming and going from that area for a month now between there and my home base in Saddle Mountain, and they have been squatting there for a month, and there are trash bags all surrounding their campsite. I mean, it's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. So I did the right thing, and um, I hope that they learned a lesson. So <laughs> let's get going with the fun stuff now. It is a nice morning, and I'm going to get camp set up, put out my rug, and I already have Winston's playpen out and my collapsible trash bin, but I have everything else that I need to set up. This morning, Winston is busy burying a bone, and I will be putting out both of my solar panels, my van powers, as well as my Yargo. It's a bit breezy this morning, but the wind will slow down a bit. I don't mind a little bit of a breeze when it's warmer out. 
And finally, the weather is getting warmer, which I'm very excited about. I love when the days are around 70 degrees and the nights are 45. It's literally perfect camping weather for me. I heard it's even supposed to warm up to about 82 degrees in quartzite this week. That's a little bit warmer than I'd like it right now. But where we will be moving to after this location is going to be gorgeous, around 70 degrees every day. So I did use both of my get out gear blankets last night because it was around 36 degrees. But those very cold nights might be behind us here shortly. So as Winston is burying his bone, I am just making my bed, cleaning my toilet, and getting everything set so I can finish putting out my rug and setting up the rest of camp. I even had Winston use his happy camper blanket last night. I took it off the front passenger seat and put it in his bed. Wanted to make sure he was extra toasty warm. And after I get camp set up, I think it'll probably be time to change my pants. The sweatpants that I'm wearing are super warm for the night, but I generally just wear them at night because they are so toasty. They, they keep me nice and toasty. But I gotta move everything so I can put my big rug down. I still absolutely love my racing rug. It is so much fun. I got it in quartzite. It is 9 by 12. And I'm glad I decided to use it this time around because I really do enjoy it, and so does Winston. I got my rug all set up, and now I'm just smoothing it out, smoothing out the creases from it being folded. There is a big rock right there where I just laid that sheet, so I wanted to remind myself that it's there so nobody trips over it. And I do end up putting my bamboo lap table over it, which worked well. So, again, Winston doesn't get hurt on it and I don't <laughs> fall on my face. I made sure to put Winston's toys out so he could play and get him some fresh water. And I just noticed that he just scooted his butt on the rug, but I didn't see it because I was in my van. That was too funny. He always likes to make sure that he supervises me, so I put camp up to his standards. <laughs> Just folding my blankets, getting everything set. Winston greeted Maddie, said hi to him. And we will be ready to start our day here shortly. The last step is putting out the solar, taking off my sweatshirt, and then putting Winston's ramp in place. Here's camp, y'all. Ooh, it's a beautiful day. It'll be 63 and sunny. Just a very slight breeze, you know, a few miles per hour. Decided to put out my rug. I actually hosed it down. I cleaned it off at my home base, so it's looking good. And it always just makes my site feel a lot homier. So I did put it up. This morning I put out my Yargo solar panel. If you haven't seen my review yet, be sure to check it out because this is my new favorite panel. I am obsessed with it. So look for that on my channel. Put out my little bamboo table. I actually put it over a big rock that was under that is under my rug. I don't want to trip on it. I don't want Winston to trip on it, so I did that. Playpen collapsible trash of course his ramp and his toys made my bed van's looking good this morning oh I still have to set up my water table not sure what Maddie's up to over there but I do have my van power solar panel out I need to set it up and I actually got a 10 foot extension cord for it um, so I can bring it a little further out from my van when necessary and actually run the cord through the window. So that is next on my list to set up. We're exploring a little bit. 
exploring on this beautiful day. This is actually kind of a nice camp spot right over here if you can get uh, through this kind of sandy road. Just letting Winston lead the way with his nose. Oh, here's some pretty wildflowers over here that are blooming. I see some California poppies as well, but these orange ones aren't, are very pretty. We've had a lot of rain, so they're they're really growing. So beautiful. Here's the sandy road that I've seen some pretty big rigs come in on. I'm kind of shocked that... Um... Oh wait, no, this is... Just kidding. This is actually the wash. That's the road right over there. This is the wash. This is, this is easy to get stuck in if you're not careful. But you can see there's been people through here. There's tire tracks. Well, here's some California poppies. So pretty and bright. Arizona wildflowers are beautiful and tis the season. Today for lunch, I am having half of a chipotle cheddar salad with some cut up chicken breast. So getting all of my protein and my greens. I have been actively losing weight by eating healthier, drinking less beer, and intermittent fasting. So very happy with my progress so far and I'm excited about this salad. It looks tasty. Here's the extension cord I bought for my van power. So it's it's a 10 foot extended MC4 connector. So I have it actually going through my window now and I can even bring it out further away from my van for peak sun. So it's working really well. My Yargo just about has my Jackery charged up. So I'm going to take that panel down. And honestly, my van powers is almost charged up to 100% as well. But I'm really glad I got that extended cable. It's going to be really helpful. I think it was like 17 bucks on Amazon. Here is another extremely delicious meal I made. I made some Idahoan mashed potatoes just in the cup, super easy to make. And then I heated up some chicken with butter, salt and pepper, put that on top, and then some cheese to get it all melty and extra tasty. I decided to put out my little portable bonfire tonight just for some ambiance while we hang out and chill, but that will be it for this video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I appreciate it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and we will see you next time.